Hi, this is Grandma Lori. Today's story is the pushy penguin. Out of the way! Out of the way! yelled Pat the penguin. He was always pushing around the other penguins and nobody could figure out why. The other penguins would get upset because Pat was always pushing them down for no apparent reason. Pat, said Paula, his best friend, why do you always push people out of the way? Pat stopped for a minute, only to fall flat on his face. It's because I'm so clumsy. I can't stay on my feet unless I move very quickly, Pat said. Paula, I don't know what to do. I hate making people mad and I really don't want to push them over. But it's that or I get stepped on by everyone else. Paula looked at Pat with a smile. Why are you smiling? asked Pat. Because you're cute, Paula said. Don't you know you can just ask for help? Well, I'll help you figure out what to do. But I'm afraid the others will laugh at me. It's easier to just run through the crowd than it is to be laughed at, Pat complained. No one is going to laugh at you, Paula said, patting Pat on the back. Guys, guys, come over here. She waved a flipper in the air. The other penguins looked over and started to come until they saw Pat. They were afraid to go because they thought they might get pushed over again. Paula said, it's okay, guys. Pat's got a problem. If we all work together, we can solve not only his problem, but the rest of ours as well. As the penguins gathered, Pat started feeling shy. He knew he had hurt the other penguins and didn't know how he could face them. Just then, Paula put her flipper on his back and said, Everyone, everyone! Do you know why Pat keeps knocking us all down? Because he's rude! Because he's a bully! Because he doesn't care for anyone else! Everyone had an opinion, and none of them were good for Pat. No, it's because he keeps falling down. His feet won't grip the ice. He's been trying all this time to just get from one place to another without falling. The penguins murmured among themselves. So that was the reason. Some thought back to the many times Pat had run them over. Now it makes sense. He wasn't a bad guy. He was just clumsy. Paula continued. Let's see if we can figure out ways for Pat to be able to walk across the ice without falling down. That way, everyone will be safe, including Pat. Ideas started flowing quickly. A couple of the penguins ran and got sticks for Pat to hold in his hands to help him keep his balance, but that didn't work too well. He ended up sliding down the hill. Someone else suggested he slide everywhere he wanted to go, but the thought of that made Pat's stomach hurt. Finally, Penny, Paula's little sister, piped in. What about shoes? Everyone stopped talking and turned to look at Penny. That's genius, Penny, said Paula. Now where can we find shoes big enough for Pat's feet? I won't be able to swim with shoes on, Pat said. That's okay, you just take them off, said Penny. After much trial and error and more fittings than Pat thought he could stand, he was ready to show off his new footwear. I look ridiculous, Pat whined. Try walking, everyone clamored, encouraging Pat. They wanted these shoes to work as much as he did, if for no other reason than they wouldn't be run over anymore. Pat took one step. Then he took another step. It was working. He could walk without falling down. A big cheer went up from the gathered penguins. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm sorry if I hurt anyone because I wouldn't ask for help, Pat said, smiling. This has been Grandma Lori. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story.